I'm Joyce John. I'm the procurement manager for Coca-Cola Beverages Botswana. So my presentation will be around the manufacturing industry and the challenges that we experienced. So from the manufacturing industry, we experienced some, some lonely times, especially in receiving our, our supplies because we have too many dependencies from SA and overseas markets. And then our security of supply was also threatened as well because we had some instances where some of our suppliers had to, to cease operation due to, to COVID issues. So it was really difficult to plan for, for seasons such as peak. So even though CCBB or Coca-Cola Beverages Botswana was deemed essential, we had some instances where our service providers were not. So we had to write some letters to government to, to seek for, for approvals so that the, the, the operation can go on. So in a nutshell, COVID-19 hit us very hard in the manufacturing industry and operational budget was, was also affected. And the, the, we also saw the, the commodity prices and transportation prices having to increase. And this was just a lot of anxiety. There was a lot of anxiety on our employees because some of them, they also lost their, their, their loved ones. So I'll just browse through my the future of supply chain. So someone can ask, what's the future for, for supply chain or what are the lessons that we have learned from this COVID pandemic? I'll start with the supplier collaboration. So when we talk of supplier collaboration, we, we are talking of supplier relationships. So in a nutshell, suppliers are an extension of, of, of our businesses. We cannot operate without our suppliers. So we need those partnerships and get to understand their, their value chains and allow new ideas and innovations for sustainable growth and, and, and stability. The, the second one is supplier categorization. So when you talk of supplier categorization, we are seeing a supply chain professionals one size fits all is not a priority anymore. So segmenting and classifying those suppliers by criticality to the business or even by spend is very key. We need to, we need to have those holistic visibility across our suppliers. So in a nutshell, from the manufacturing industry, we need to secure supply in a strategic manner. So there's this broad word called resilience. So I heard one of our counterparts, he was talking about resilience. So resilience is all about being flexible and being adaptive, just to accommodate this changing dynamics of, of the business, like accommodating the, the, this COVID-19. But what I can tell you, um, professionals, supply chain professionals, is that to remain resilient, you have to put in some, some money. And cost of doing nothing to this resiliency can seriously harm, harm, harm the business as a whole. So the future of supply chain also takes us to digitalization. Digitalization, we need to integrate our supply chain operations from end to end. Like my colleague was saying, we need automation just to reduce the, 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 the manual tasks and to reduce human errors. Because we know if we don't digitize, we'll have to do things manually and audits will come in and they will hit us hard. So in a nutshell, digitalization, it improves efficiencies across supply chains. And then we also have inventory management. This is the time to take care of our stores. Inventory management is very key and it guards against the stockouts. Now that we are having these delays of receiving supplies, we need to reduce at least just in time on, on critical supplies just to avoid stock runouts. 
And then one of the key factors that is advisable to do from this pandemic is continuous improvement. The CFOs, the CEOs, the MDs, the GMs, they need to invest in, in, in supply chain profession. We need to train our staff and avail resources because supply chain as a whole, it needs some, some, some resources. And we need to monitor our supply chain trends and, and news because they will keep us informed. And lastly, on my presentation, we just need to develop our local suppliers because if we develop our local suppliers, we'll reduce on the turnaround time that I was talking about. And we'll also reduce on the total cost of ownership because we know if we receive some supplies from South Africa or any other markets outside Botswana, it comes at a cost. You will have to pay the clearing, you will have to pay the transportation. But if you, you, you develop your, your local suppliers, then you will have to cut on, on those costs. 